Welcome to Haunting Ground. This is a 2005 Capcom horror game that I've never played before, but I hear people talking about with some frequency online um, with some good things to say about it. Let's hop in. I don't know what to expect here. Story-wise, tone-wise, how it's gonna play. I trust it's probably gonna be typical early 2000s revival horror affair. Let's see if it's boring. Looks pretty good, yo. Not the meal, the graphics. Is Cutie gonna be our main antagonist? Good sound. game is rated M. So if you're hypersensitive or whatever, all themes are on the table. There's in a car crash of some sort? Is that what that was? This is a good looking cutscene, dude. Look at that ass on that piece of meat back there. She looks like... Looks like Jill. From RE5. You know? Post-experimentation Jill. Is she in like a towel of some sort? She's got a good design. I like it. She's cute. Doge. Already playing up the camera angles, huh? <laughs> Let's get this lady some clothes first and foremost. Yui! What do you think the name was in uh, Japanese? Damn, they're really playing with the camera angles, huh? What a strange energy to start your horror experience with. That felt interesting. What we're escaping now? We we didn't get her name, right? What are you doing, girl? Where am I? So what? She got in a car accident and then wound up here somehow? Is that was that like her last memory? Look at those birds, dude. This looks fucking great. It's kind of cold. Your smells funny. Let's maybe figure out these controls real quick. X to run. Other face buttons don't do anything yet. What's this thing? What is this thing? It's so obviously supposed to be interactable. It stands out from this drab environment like no one's fucking business. 
Dude, her character model is so good. She looks absolutely fantastic. Fluid ass animations. Ooh, fixed cameras, dude. No tank controls, though. Can we try to see if there are tank controls? Ooh, maybe later. Add a title screen. Dude, why does this look so nice, man? Deep left hand on the piano. Some Econa Valley shit. That's one of my favorite Zelda pieces of music, the Econa Valley one. I just cannot believe the emotion that Koji managed to capture in that piece of music. Absolute torture. This door is being blocked by that wooden box. There's got to be something I can do. There's a hole here, but it's far too small for me. Is it a dog-shaped hole? Oh, Huey. Something sparkling. Oh, I guess the water of the pond just sparkles. Damn, dude, this game looks great. Um, we can assume that the actual coloration of the environment is purposefully drab. So that they can... I mean, it's obviously... Such a fantastic way for a developer to draw your eye towards points of interest in an environment. Just make it a little more colorful, a little more saturated. Like, look at those red vases. I cannot believe I cannot interact with them at all. Wait, wait. You were saying something. They the somethings again. There are feathers and fur in the cages, in the cage. For there to be this much, it must have been torn off. Hard to say what kind of animal it was. Whatever it was, I don't think it is still alive. Uh, we think in, so obviously, big, dumb, oafy antagonist guy, he was like being a butcher of some sort, but like, to what end? Do we think it's just, is he just feeding people? Such a large door. What could be on the other side? Uh, you can see through it, dude. I can't see it. Open. Dude, we gotta find her some jeans. Like, if we gotta beat a hasty retreat and she's just worried about her rope falling off the entire time, that is going to... This is a survival horror game. We gotta survive, dude. That or we about to see some cheeks. That towel just... The moment danger comes up, you drop that thing and you give it your all. You know what I mean? You've been a... You've obtained chamomile. To what end? Times like these where fixed camera angles are not appreciated. I can't see dick in there. Okay, so only chamomile came of this little thing. Little excursion. Uh, I guess I'll head up those stairs. Considering that basement we were just in, that fucking dungeon, this looks like a fucking architect's house and I don't know, somewhere in Europe. It's like a nice ass place to have a dungeon that shitty. I'm not gonna be able to open this. Heard. It was awesome how I, oh, that sound in the piece of music started as like what sounded like a scream in the distance, but transformed into like an actual like synth pad. Cool. I wonder what kind of room is on the other side. You can see in, dude. I can see the light flicker from candles inside, but it's too dark to see anything else. Typical horror stuff. I wonder what kind of room. Blah 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 blah. blah. Dude, these are important. Whatever these be. What is this fucking thing back here? Shut up. Shut up. Okay, maybe we'll... be able to interact with the vases later.
Yo! Hold, hold the phone. So, if I open doors, they just stay open. Good to know, in case we're gonna get pursued. No load screen, dude! Damn, this game looks good! Call me old-fashioned, but I would prefer a normal set of clothes to these bedsheets. Wait, you're wearing a bedsheet? I can't just walk around all day holding these sheets around me. I was saying the same fucking thing, girl. Call me old-fashioned, but I would prefer a normal set of clothes to these bedsheets. Well, we're officially in a bedroom. So... I know, girl, I know. Wait, does she just say that? Oh, shit. What a looker, dude. Is that a painting or an actual another character? <laughs> no, that's a person there. Oh, dude. Big fantasy energy. I've gathered some clothes for you. Voice acted. I guess 2005. We were already doing that kind of shit. Dude, what's she's got like a fucking wait hammer and sickle <laughs> marked on her back. Um, excuse me, but where are we? British voice acting. And how did I get here? We are in Europe. Yes, master. We will keep her here for a while. I will make sure she stays comfortable. Great delivery on those lines, dude. This is fucking trippy, dude. No human at all. What was that sound, dog? I know, I know. You can keep saying it, but I don't have clothing for you. Sorry. Um. Yo. Yo, are these threads? There's a change of clothes that maid has apparently laid out. She was a maid? She looked like a fucking ancient fantasy sorceress or some shit. Yeah. Oh no. Be tasteful about a game. He doesn't sound tasteful about it. Do make haste, my dear. Dude, sick trip. Yo, what the hell? You can just lay out like clothes. This is like a. I mean, we're finding a fucking museum or something. Look at this shit, dude. We look amazing. I wonder that towel wasn't falling down. Wait a minute. I remember being in the car with... With who? Worked, but now what should I do? I could just find a map of this place, and I could get my bearings. Additional actions. You are now able to perform the following new actions in the game. Square button to kick. 
Use this to smash certain background objects or to stun some enemies. Okay. Triangle. Throw slash set. Throw some objects, after equipping them of course, or place them down on the ground. L1 button, crouch. Use this maneuver to crouch down in the shadows and make it harder for enemies to find you. R1 button, back step. Quickly jump backward to avoid the enemy's attacks. Use this maneuver too much, and your stamina will decrease. 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 Um. Sad to hear there's a stamina bar. Push background objects. Some background objects can be moved by pushing them left. Pushing the left analog stick with directional buttons in the direction of the object you want to move. Charge. After running for a few seconds, press the square button to tackle an enemy. Cool. You are able to hit the enemy with this move. You can shove them out of your way. But you will lose a large amount of stamina in the process. Please don't introduce a fucking dumb UI. Action has been saved to your file. Maybe only when I start running? No, she can run forever. Dude, look how amazing this outfit is. I love this character design. She's amazing. Oh, the jiggle physics. Come on, game. Uh, she has a freaking energy about her, dude. Like, effective energy. Like a really incredible softness. A chest used to store clothes. I guess she's British. We'll do the British accent from now on. Heck yeah, girl. I don't like that sound effect at all. Uh, this door is definitely gonna be locked, right? Anio, I wanna go fucking definitely kick those vases. Definitely. No, 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 no. Circle butch, but butchin. Circle butchin as action is weird to me. Give me that Sekiro circle to run. I'll be selecting with X, the X button. Thank you very much. Uh, do get fucked. Heck yeah, dude. That was satisfying as shit. Nothing came of it. Of course. Uh, what else should we try? L1 to crouch? Wait. I can't crouch and move. Oh, weird, dude. Yeet. Yeet. Didn't they say after running? What, button, what the fuck button did I just use to shove? Okay. Where's the... Here we go. Chamomile. What is this, dude? Type of herb completely restores lost stamina. Cancel. After running for a few seconds... It has to be a few seconds. Okay, yeah, you're not you're not wrong. It is certainly a few seconds. Oh, here it is. Get fucked. It looked something sparkly. Magnesia. That is also a we need to find a map. We look for uh, tank controls. Oh wait, hold on. Circle kick. Wait, X is always dash. Why? You should let me do. You should let me figure this out. You should let me do this, because all these are annoying. Triangle to crouch, as opposed to throw? Who cares? Who cares, dude? It's all gonna be weird. Okay. I guess since I can't move, there's no sense in attempting to crouch. Do this fucking thing. Go! Go, baby! 
Uh, yeah, through through the door. On this way. Uh, so far I love everything. I love everything about this. Except for maybe the controls. But the art design is incredible. Level design is really tasteful so far. Blood. Is this blood? How effective, dude, to have her like trip out to a little thing like that. And then her heart, wait, my heart's going, dude. Oh my God. Is my heart good? Good, gooder? Good, thank God, thank God. We need a fucking map. We need a map. Dude, this environmental sounds are so good. Man, look how well framed that shot is, dude. I gotta look who from Capcom directed this. 2005. 2005. What was going on at Capcom in 2005? Better to look that kind of stuff up. Wait, can I straighten this picture out, please? Please! Just... Mm. Wait, I hear a doge, dude! Huey? Dude, I'm gonna make that mistake all the fucking time. It's exciting going into a new room. How the camera always kind of starts facing the door and then it pulls back. It's a new room ambience. A massive book stands stalwart. It looks quite old. Perhaps it's an antique. Found a thing. Is this the map? Is this the fucking map, dog? There's more of these thingy. Whoa, what an angle, dude. Oh, the desk is locked. No, 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 no. Cool angle, dude. This, we already looked at that. You a Dude, bird flipping. Oh, this was fucking dumb nuts. <gasps> he likes the doll? Dude, he is so ugly. These sounds are great, dude. What is he, dude? We're playing with like actual fantasy in this game? Dude, you're gonna give me fucking control here? Uh, I'll fucking see you later, homie. I can run forever though, right? Stamina be damned. He found me? But he didn't like hurt me or anything. Oh, that's why I need tank controls, fam. It's gonna happen a lot. Grab this fucking doll, dude. This dude can get fucked as far as I'm concerned. Grab it. I've got to get away. What are you talking about, dude? This is a fucking dead end. No. Open. Good shit, girl. Go, 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 go. 
Go, 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 go. Close the door. Close the fucking door. Oh my god. Yeah. Bring it, bro. What you gonna do, dude? Face off. What the fuck happened to this room? Can we assume he was the one that- No, why would you- Why the fuck? Why the fuck? Wait, is he just trying to spook me? Dude, oh my god, this camera angle right now. I'm losing my mind. Like, or the character's losing her mind. Dude, is she Was he sniffing me? Excuse me, sir. Insanely inappropriate. Okay, so, it would seem that you have to be through the door in order for you to close it in this direction. Oh my god, she's not doing anything I want. She's not doing a fucking thing that I want. And this is new territory. Who knows what's down here, dude? It could be another dipwad. What's his name? Dumb Nuts? Okay, not- okay, now's not the time. Now's not the time. How far is he going to- Oh, she does seem like she's getting a little more fucking tired. Oh, no, dude. Catch your breath, baby. Catch your breath. Oh, she's having like a fucking panic attack, dude. Get fucked. What is happening? What is happening? Dude, she's like fucking tripping out right now, dude. You slip into her drink. She's fast as fuck. Oh, this is... Oh, she's like literally falling over and shit. Dude, that was wild. Keep running, sweetheart. I know this is out of control. That's not the one. Oh, she is fucking tired, mate. She's tired. Oh, it's so dark over here. He saw me? He doesn't seem to be doing anything to me, dude. He's just like trying to smell me. What am I supposed to- what the fuck, girl? Dude, I'm like losing my mind over here. Dude, she keeps falling! Close the door, close the door, close the door. Close the door, close the door. Oh no, what should- oh, should I just- did I just- what- what? what? Okay. When near closets or beds? While well, hiding Fiona. Fiona is our name. Fiona's stamina recovers at an accelerated rate and her panic decreases at an increased speed. Also press the circle button once more while hiding to exit the evasion point. If you approach a possible evasion point while being pursued by an enemy, the words, wait a second, what's that? Insanity will be displayed. This is a hint that means there's an evasion point nearby. However, be warned that if you repeatedly hide in the same location over and over again, the enemy will soon catch wind of your hiding spot. I know this is sudden. I can't look around, dog. Okay, so the game definitely wanted me to go to this room. I don't like that his primary sense that he likes to use is smell. I think that's creepy as fuck. So we can assume... I may have started saying this earlier, but didn't finish. That he... is not a human? And he's some type of beast? Some type of fantastical beast? Never check under the beds. If you're ever pursuing someone, if you're ever in Dumb Nuts' position here, make sure that 
you never check under the beds, because people hate hiding under beds. You know? It's not the first thing that pops to the person's mind at all when it comes to hiding. That was clear. Whoa, that was so awkward. At least the description of it was so awkward. Coast clear. I'm gonna keep that door open. Despite my better judgment. To be at a hasty retreat should we need it. Okay, so, Fiona, my dear. What the fuck was that? Pick up this doll now? You obtained Bisk doll. This can be moved for sure. You told me about this kind of stuff. I can move it. That's it. There's blood on the ground. Wait. Can we assume that this typewriter in here... ...is a Resident Evil save point? No, don't close the door! Don't close the door at all! Don't do that! Cancel, cancel, cancel! Typewriter. Are you an idiot? Wait, I got a what? I got ten somethings. What do you want me to fucking do here, dude? I've obtained the simp plate. A thin metallic plate with letters carved into it. Return the plate to the plate pressing machine. Wait, why did you do that? Why did you return it? Did I lose my simp status? Let's keep it in mind. Keep it in mind, dude. Through the door. It's a laboratory. A laboratory. Such tremendous heat. Heat like this, some shorts use for refining. Running what, dude? Is it a map? Is it a map? Is it a map? Old parchment. Hitting wrong button. The deciphering of the Book of Origins. Teferu Itira. Seferu Yatida has uncovered the process for creating life from earth soil. This golem needs not nourishment nor sleep, making this earthen guardian the ultimate safekeeper of our deepest alchemic secrets and knowledge. I dubbed this creature Emeth. Dude, Emeth is the perfect name for that disgusting thing. Wait, are you Emeth? Are you like a pre-Emeth? A huge doll of made of earth blocks the door. There's a slot-shaped hole in his chest. <laughs> Should I put the simp card in his hole? Oh, should I write emeth on it? And then slip an emeth card into his hole? You are Emeth. You've obtained Emeth plate. This game's cool, dude. Great vibes.
Ooh, don't touch it. Don't touch it, Fiona. What are you doing? Well, I guess you never know until you try. I figured as much. There's no, there is no way someone my size is going to move something this big and heavy. Don't worry about it, girl. It was an accident in the first place. Good, Emmeth. What a weird solution, dude. Like, what a completely nonsensical puzzle. That was incredibly stupid. Right? I'm gonna check that file again. Like, there was nothing... Besides this person dubbing this golem... ...its name. Like, only because I was playing a video game does that make sense. Stupid. Get fucked. <laughs> Not all vases are kickable. What happened to these stairs, bitch? Go! Why do these stairs stop halfway? The longer I look over the edge, the more I feel like something is going to suck me down. There is something up on this banister here. You wanna do a cool little Nathan Drake here? You wanna do a cool little Nathan Drake here? Vases that amount to basically nothing, always. Take the thing, my dear, thank you. Oh, huh? what's this? I don't know, but do grab it. Magnesia. More things I'll never use. I say now. This looks like an old well or something. The opening has been sealed up with a wooden board. Just for decoration? Or something gonna pop out of that well eventually. I do want a map. I need to find a key if I'm going to get through this door. Understood? Understood. Oh, but the creepy door though. Let's not use these fucking controls yet, fam. Key, key. Who the fuck's playing the piano, dude? The jiggle physics are out of control. Entirely unnecessary. Ah, Fiona. I see you finally awakened. There's something that I've wanted to show you for quite some time. Pull away that sheet behind you. Oh no, it's gonna be gross, isn't it? Dude, Prego, man. Be mine, Fiona. <laughs> oh man, an actual villain laugh. That was cringe city, dude. What is this thing? Really giving me the creeps. How would anyone in their right mind put something like this here? Oh, 
golden key. Different instruments and such. Big old bars. The top is so large and bulky. Hard to imagine people actually play these things. No one's fucking playing that, you psychopath. I mean, there might be giants in this game. There might be. Okay, so, so far, weird, the uh, theatrical piano dude, Emil, wants to turn us into some weird meat wood sculpture, but per perhaps wants to impregnate us first. We should, of course, prevent this at all costs. I think that is the name of the game. But is that all this room is for? Was the garden key? Oh wait, she can push it. You can push it. I know you can. I just apply enough force, I might be able to knock it over. But really? <coughs> Which direction would you like to knock it over, my dear? <coughs> I need to run for a couple of seconds. You said, and then we push it. Was that not the what? What more do you want from me? That seemed exactly like what it was that I was supposed to do, is it not? We will keep it in mind. May as well check what's over here first. A weird castle door. The gate is closed, there's no way through. I'm going to have to find another way. What? Can we hide in these barrels? Bong. Back into the garden. Auto use the key. Auto use it, dude. Oh my god. What is this shit? 2005 or something? Great sounds. Luminescence? Luminescence? Luminescence are tiny creatures that have feverishly pursued that feverishly pursue Fiona once they have caught wind of her. When a luminescent makes contact with Fiona, it not only puts her in a state of panic, but it also ruptures producing a sound which attracts the unwanted attention of nearby enemies. Luminescence do fade over time. The most effective way to rid yourself of these troublesome creatures is to reach a neighboring area and close the door. Doing this cuts off the luminescence sensing ability and stops them dead in their tracks. How dumb. You get in here. Get in there, babe. And now close the door. Luminescent dealt with. Shit tier, dude. Why in the world is there a chair here? This is just a normal chair, right? No way, take a seat, dude. That thing, that wall rotato potatoes, dude. There's no doubt. There is something strange about this part of the floor. Kidding me? Of course there is. The clock catches out moments in time. Whoa! Yes. 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 Fantastic. Okay, clocks are our save points. I was kind of hoping for limited saves. But there's no knob. But now what do I do? Wait, there's a hook in here. Maybe if I attach something to it, 
You could use that in place of a doorknob. Good thinking, Fiona. I like that she's not super dense, you know? The design and type are identical to the previous chair. They're probably from the same set. Chad's self looks to be of a standard design. Can you pick it up for me, girl? Can you pick it up for me? Yeah, I like that she isn't constantly like, what is going on? You know, like, what do I do here? Whoa, 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 whoa. She's like, she, she's with it, which is awesome. And not typical of horror games. Neat. Much cleaner kitchen than the one in the basement where we were locked up. We obtained chicken jerky. Very good. Open that fridge, girl. See what else is in there. It's amazing even when she's this far away, you can still see the jiggling. Like, it was that... It was that much of a priority to Capcom. Guys, it doesn't matter where she is in the room. Make sure those tatas be flopping. Buried... Ornate, high-class, china lines, the shelf. Okay. I want a fucking map. Dude, what a cool room, man. This is so cool. Huh? What's this? Why are there so many candlesticks on this table? Why are there so many can- I know, dude. I'm trying to click on it, but you keep talking about the candlesticks. And cracked plate key. What happened here? Oh dear. No, outside of that key, looks like nothing much in the kitchen. We continue. This plywood panel door is blocking my path. But it could be broken through easily enough. Nope, didn't mean to do that. I feel like we could... Dude, don't make different sound effects like that. That spooked me. Um, Take any fucking implement here and destroy that plywood door, bitch. Man, I know this is like fantasy meme kind of stuff, but was there actually ever a point in history where like one person would fucking sit here at the head of the table, and then someone would sit all the way down here, and then that's actually how they would have dinner? 30 yards apart from each other? Fucking stupid, dude. Wait. Where does this go? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh my god! I don't like this at all. He was here! Wait, what utility is it to loop around in this way? There's nothing we need. Is there anything we need? Back that way? Let me think. We have cracked plate key. We try to put that in the metal maker thing? Is this all just Healy stuff? Dog stamina, dude. Where's our fucking dog, man? Devilitas? Equip? Wait, is Devilita the dumb guy? Dumb nuts? Explode and do damage to them. Who cares about any of this stuff, dude? made it sound like, like I was only supposed to run. Oh my fucking 
god. I heard someone chomping around up here. Last I saw him, he was to the left. We're gonna keep walking. How did that blood get there? This was locked, correct? Wait, it says something on it. ST, you're carved into the plate. ST. It has been broken in half? Like literally in half, so ST, there's only two other letters? What can you add to ST with only two other letters? Stab, star. Stuff with one F. Stop. Stop? That could be. Stall with one L? Or it could be fast. You know, it could be the other two. Must? I'm not gonna keep doing this. The game will inform me. What I should do with it when it becomes relevant. So this is just a loop-to-loop -loop and pull, dude. Hey, Myth, how you doing, buddy? Grab those cheeks. Okay, I mean, I can try to put the thing, I'm here, you know? I can try to put this in the metal bar thinger. Whatever the language is. I gotta stop doing that. Can't use this here. Pencil. Understood. Okay, so we have a little more sovereignty over the space now that we have like a, a true loop to loop. Um, but we don't much have any leads for moving forward, correct? I can't get to that point of interest. Is there a luminescent down here? Am I gonna get got if I go down here? This is a fantastic looking PS2 game. It's just fantastic. So, this does something. Do we think it opens that door out there? Like the weird grated door? Okay. Fiona, listen. I know it's not your fucking thing. But can you, like, grab this chair for me? Can you, like, grab it, though, dude? Wait, what is this shit? I've not gone down here yet. I don't believe. Wall looks weak here. Maybe if I hit it hard enough, I can break through it. Heard. Boom! I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. That's completely on me, Fiona. Not on you. I hate this game. What is it? Yo, baby! There it is! Rest! Rest, dude! Hold on, this is so rat- wait, there's no- there's no combine or whatever, right? 
Do I gotta go make another one? Is that the idea? It appears to be a slot of sorts. Could this be some kind of lock? And we're assuming that attaches to this. Nice. Okay, dude, let's go make, let's go make another. We'll go make another. I no longer know the fastest way. Not that way. So does... Dumbnuts? Is he always patrolling? And I, like, run into him via happen chance of his route and where he is along it. Have I mentioned I want a map? What is swangling? What's swangin', dude? I hadn't heard that swangin' before. <gasps> what the shit, dude? I'm doing something. Nice. What trip? Oh, somebody closed the door? Who cares? It's probably nothing. This game has been pretty light on the spooks so far. It's been a little creepy. But also, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't really know how to relate to Fiona yet. You know what I mean? Wait, is this some long way? Yeah, it is. But what is this? Oh, fuck my dick, dude. Get out of here. Right, I closed this door because of a little ball of light. Good work, my dear. Nope, terrible job. You're fired. And now we go. We will save. Nice. Uh, okay. Now to this rest door. I'm gonna do it all game. What are you fucking talking about? Wait, it's this thing. Dude, I don't like hearing other people stomp it. Can you close this fucking door before I lose my mind? What was that, dude? My little what? Hangy pot? Good now. Enemies never check under beds and they never check bathroom stalls. How did he know, dude? How did he fucking know, dude? That is incredibly annoying. Oh, it's a fuck dick too, dude. Oh my god. This is horrible. This is horrible. Close the door, babe. Oh my fucking god. Oh god. I don't like these guys at all, dude. You just gotta put a bunch of doors between me and it. How did he know I was in that middle stall? Huh? How did he know? You think he's still pursuing me? Should I take a whole fucking lap? That's so annoying. I'm not doing that. I'm 
So, I mean, verdict on those, on dumb nuts is that, like, not scary. And also that luminescent didn't do fucking anything. I guess just to anticipate him generally afoot. But of course. So you do have to be perpendicular to the door. This is a nice ass bathroom, dude. Grab it. I don't care about those things. Whoa. Oh, fuck, dude. You didn't give me the thing. You specifically said you were gonna give me a thing. Oh my god. And by thing, I mean prompt. It would say, like, if you're nearby a hidey thing. I guess I didn't come around this screen. I wonder if this water is drinkable. Ew, don't give it a shot. You never know. Whoa! Recovery points. Search your recovery points. Search a recovery point to claim Fiona from a state of panic. Calm, Johnny, learn how to read. What is wrong with you, dog? Um, let's start that again. Recovery points. Search, and, search a recovery point to calm Fiona from a state of panic and completely restore her stamina. However, please note that recovery points cannot be used while you are being pursued by an enemy. Like, do I care if I'm panicked, if I'm not being pursued? You just kind of wait. Toilets in the castle are communal? So I'll try holding it for now. Wait, she's a- dude. How fucking dare you make me think that my character has to pee throughout the entire of the rest of the fucking game? Are you kidding me? I am now going to be concerned about her, that element of my character now. God, dude. What an insane thing to say of your character. What is this? No, I wanted you to... Alright. I don't care anymore. I do not care anymore. Locked. I wonder why. Can you close this door, please? Cause like, here, I, I want her to close this without her going inside. Okay. This one's locked. This one, she didn't fucking say anything. She just closed it again. But there's like shit in here. Can you comment? She cannot. Um, okay. So this room amounted to nothing. Except giving me the anxiety that my character has to pee. Right? No nothing came of this. We're literally back to ground zero. Wait, can we just trash these now? Comment? We should read this immediately. Where am I? I was in a car with my parents, and I... No good. Everything seems so fuzzy. I guess she is one of the maids working here. She's so beautiful, almost too beautiful. Almost seems unnatural. You don't say. Feels almost like it was custom-tailored to fit me. It really clings to my shape quite nicely. Though it feels a little tight in the chest area. Fuck you, Japan. I have to get away, but where to? So this machine is used to engrave letters into these plate things? The only question is, why build a machine for the sole purpose? What do the plates do? Judging by the fact that this hook is here. There's probably something that something hanging here, but what? Oh yeah, we're looking for a hook.
there anything hooked around? Well, that was quite refreshing. So drink the water, but you won't fucking pee? That's so weird to me, dude. Who knows how old these fucking pipes are? And you're just gonna consume that stuff, but you won't let your ass skin touch the porcelain of the seat. No, oh my god, I'm gonna do it to the end of the game. Play key is locked into place. Very good. Okay, so we need some sort of knocker here. It won't open. Maybe I need a key or something? No, you need a hook. We've been through this. Okay. Have we seen anything hooked? Will you sit for me, my dear? Oh, I haven't been kicking very much. Should I kick this dumb wall down here? I have to shove it, but maybe it just needs a good kick. Yeah, dude. Still, dude. Huh? What's this? Refine antimony? Antimony? What is this? clump of antimony powder used to throw at enemies explodes on impact electrifying the enemy more potent than standard antimony powder I do not care or was that little yet bugs yuck oh, I hate bugs why me you're most concerned about the bugs right now that's what you're why me about? Someone literally said that they're going to impregnate you and then turn you into a sculpture. Looks like meat is being served. It appears they still haven't finished preparing it. Any hook-like things? Feel like a kitchen certainly does have plenty of hook-like things. sink looks rusted in several spots. A thick reddish-black discoloration cakes the surface. You said something here? You say something to me? Nothing in the pot. Hmm. Can I just kick this too? Wow. Dude, what a good room. This looks so nice. You obtained castle sketch. Is this my map? Look at that spider, dude. Look at that spider. That's such a good effect. All right, let's look at the map. No. A hand-drawn sketch of the Belly Castle. Belly, we'll say. A section of the rooms in the basement have been colored in red. That's so weird that you made me use it, dude. Wait, this is the whole fucking place. This is all of it. I made a point of mentioning that red room. Is that where we should head? Oh, X's mean what? Can't go? Can't do? What? Oh no, it's a confusing map. Whoa, nice shit, girl. Yeah, no one would ever see you.
A map is good. A map is very good. Destroy this fucking thing. Nope, but hit it though. For my dog that I don't have. Huey, where art thou? What little animals are those that are hung up? A little possum or something? Maybe a cat? canonize it as a cat. Just to terrify Colin. Oh no. That scene. The sound design is great. Ill, dude. Get the fuck away from my face. Why did you stay there so long, Fiona? So he wants to eat us. He just tried to make a chomp at our face. Thank you for doing that section for me. It's like, isn't spooky? This is like, kind of goofy. You hurt yourself? If you're making me think she has a sprained ankle and she has to pee throughout all of this, I'm gonna be so uncomfortable, it's unbelievable. Oh my god, are you gonna give me control right fucking here, dog? Dude, where's his chin? They are gonna give me control right here. What was that? Exire <laughs> Debilitas, so his name is Debilitas. Diego. Wait, all I gotta do is say Exile when they come around? Ew, dude, I hate him. He's so gross. That was the same guy that says he's gonna impregnate us? Did she put that fucking choker on? Ricardo, keeper of the castle. Ricardo. So sorry to hear about your accident. Your parents. What the As fuck? Master Ugo and Mistress Ayla are both deceased. You, Miss Fiona, are the sole surviving heir. Well, what a twist. Hi, Mama. Uga and what was her name? Alma? Are you in pain, Miss? Will you be all right? Well, you just told me my parents are fucking dead and I inherited a castle full of insane things, so... Please, rest upstairs. Oh, that, this makes us even a little wackier. That, like, these people might be, like, staff for my family and such. Man, we just went out cold, huh? Was that the homie playing the piano? Yo, the triple take. Unnecessary, methinks. Even her fucking arms clip through her tits. It's just a dream. 
dream. Okay, she's doing the horror thing. This can't be happening to me. It can't be. Oh. Doggo. Wait, is Huey then actually our dog? Wait, did our do our parents know about that big uggo dude chopping things up in the basement? The fuck were our parents getting into? Dude, Doge. What's up with that texture? Heck yeah, dude. There's an antique doll lying here. Oh my god, dude. That's gonna make me run directly for you exploring, be damned. I guess we've been- this is- Oh, this was my bedroom, originally. Okay, heard. A little darker outside, I think, than when we first showed up. Ooh, good moth effect, dude. Yeah, definitely darker. I'm coming, Huey! Buddy. Unforgivable. The wires bound to the poor animal. It's digging deeply into the dog's neck. Heck yeah, dude. Go now. And don't get caught this time. Oh, good paw sounds. There are people out there that would do this to a poor, helpless animal. And that man, so big and freaky. He is big and freaky, for sure. I just want to get out of this nightmare as soon as I can. Certainly working on it. The wire looks like he got snagged on something. So many wounds. So much blood. You poor thing. With all these wounds, it's no wonder you were howling in pain. Wait, we should, probably should have, like, checked out those wounds if they were that severe to promote so much blood. We just let it go free? I'm assuming this is the way you went. We can assume this is still closed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, doggo! Is that a different dog than Huey? Can we name the dog whatever we want? But do we think we should just head back to... Okay? Okay? Okay, game. It was definitely closed before, right? Doors open when you want them to open, game. Fuck me. Something colorful up there. Almost kind of just looks like a broken texture, though. I'm not getting up there. Looks like there was something. It looks like there was something up there. The oh, she's going for it, dude! Holy shit! Oh, it looks like a weird little doll or something. Dude, she keeps falling. Not the most graceful of princesses. Uh. Don't try that again. It's going to be too hard for me to get up there. Hint, hint, dog, dog. Hint, hint, dog, dog. Big important door is locked from the other side, it would seem. This one must be open, though. With the cutscene and everything.
Why do I care about this dumb character, dude? I'm saying that I do, but I'm not exactly sure what she did to earn my adoration. The gate has been shut and locked solidly. It'd be impossible to open it without a key. I think it's just like, it, m maybe it is just like a, something evolutionary that makes me care about her. Like her just being, like her presentation is just so soft. Like there's something so pathetic about her, you know? Like she seems truly like a victim in this circumstance. Grab the thing, dude, it's so obviously a thing. Medallion. Metal used during the alchemic refining process. Your basic run-of-the-mill alchemic... Yeah, run-of-the-mill, dude. We're all out here just doing alchemy. But see, like, this is, like, this game has already demonstrated to me a couple of times now that you simply just need to be in a particular place for it to show you where you need to go next. Which, like disincentivizes me to like explore fully like I should just go to the obvious place and then it'll like give me a cutscene and be like well then you go here at least as it seems to me it should we check in here before it was too dark but like maybe maybe something changed guess not there are things to be kicked though uh, tool. Uh. Medallion. I watch so much Running Man that literally anytime I need to count to three, it's always done in Korean. See? Just go to the place. Why explore? Dude, he literally wants to eat us. Those fucking broken textures, dude. Is that imp... Im I don't think that's on, imp on purpose. Like, yeah, just, like, look how helpless she looks. It's hard just not to naturally have empathy for it. They've played with this, I guess, feeling of discomfort, like, three or four times now. You know? Just him getting way too fucking close. Kind of been, like, one of the only sources of antagonism that I've felt throughout the entire game. Already a little bland. Dude, bite his fucking neck off, dude. Come on. Push up on the right analog stick. Wait, what? Heck yeah, dude. Wait, dude, dog commands? This is fucking awesome. She's so, like, emotive. Like, her facial expression is so clear, often. Thank you. You saved me. And it's always sad. Come here. Come on, boy. He bites her fucking neck out. Game over. Dude, this is so sweet. What's your name? My name is Henry. Huey? It is Huey. Okay, heck yeah, dude. So you're Huey. Dude, this is so nice. Despite the fucking Joe Hisashi body Huey? line played on a distorted music box thing. Huey and Fiona. Additional dog commands. 
Yui has befriended you. Give him various commands via the right analog stick. Up commands. Normal mode, search the surrounding area. Battle mode, attack. While biting enemy, press up to urge Huey on, increasing the amount of time he bites an enemy. Why wouldn't I just lean north on that thing the entire fucking time? Uh, until Huey finishes the job. Down commands, normal mode, call Huey to your side. So up is go forth, back is, you know, come the fuck back to me. While biting enemy, press down to stop Huey from biting an enemy. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Left command, God. Scold, if Huey begins to act disobediently, scold him for his actions. This will have an effect on how Huey responds to you. He's a wild fucking animal, dude. He can do whatever he wants. I'm not gonna hold him back. Praise, if Huey is especially respondent to a command or does something that is praiseworthy, then praise his actions. This will have an effect on how Huey responds to you. Also, praise Huey while nearby. He will slightly regain some stamina. Push R3. Command Huey to sit and stay in that location. Order Huey to wait. This increases Huey's attack power temporarily? Shit, dude. Sometimes, depending on the circumstances, Huey may ignore some commands. In those instances, try approaching Huey and reissuing a command while you are standing next to him. If timed right, the scold command can also be effective in these situations. I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like that's going to be far more annoying. And me just, like, kind of trying to game... The game. Than it is going to be me feeling like I'm really in command of a dog. But who knows? Maybe it'll be better than The Last Guardian. Who knows? Come on. Get over here, bro. Come on. I don't give a shit, dude. Like I said, wild animal, man. Look, he's gonna follow, dude. Dude, I like having Huey around. You know where we're going. This is a dog-shaped hole. Come on. Homie. Come on. Yeah, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, his little tail's going, dude. Man, this game is really just like ripping the knob off of you, like. Oh my god. Just connecting with the characters, with your protagonist squad, simply through the empathy of helplessness. We care too much about dogs and, you know, beautiful women that are in distress. You. Do the thing. Do the thing, bro. Yeah, do the thing! Do the thing, homie! You are a little god! Get the fuck over here. Get the fuck over here. Good boy. You get a double pat. You get a double pat. Oh, that sound bit's gonna get real fucking annoying, huh? Wolf indeed. Good shit, Holmes. New area. What the fuck? Is this for the skateboarders at the castle? What is this shit? Bull. I got your bull. Can t if I can actually play fetch with this little fucker, I swear to god. Oh my god, dude. Are you kidding? That ball looked like fucking shit. That didn't go anywhere where I thought it was gonna go. Good boy. Good boy. Did you bring it back to me? Do I have it again? Tell me that didn't go back in my inventory. What the shit, dude? You want me to fucking equip this every time I want to play fetch with my doge? 
You must be out of your fucking mind. Alright. I'll get it. I'll get it, dude. Don't worry. Do you want to grab it? Do you want to grab the ball? Grab the ball. Grab the ball. You want to grab the ball? Can you grab the ball? Grab the ball. What, so now I just can't grab this ball ever again? Is that the idea? Okay, yep, ball, the ball is lost because Doge is uninterested in the ball. Fine. Are these like training dummies? We'll be training individuals with swords. I love Huey. If this game kills Huey, we look up the director and we kill his family. Got the ball! Sacrifice table? Get fucked. Don't be chamomile. Are these for training? What are these for? Look, we sort of lost stamina and makes them happy. I want my boy to be happy. Okay, I don't care. You're trying to tell me that this creepy little... Oh, we should go to the thing. Right? And go get the thing on top of the thing? With Huey boy? Or where the fuck is he? Dude, he's out. He's off doing his own thing. Oh, you're good, Huey. Oh, dude, even homie got impatient. He's like, dude, why aren't we doing the thing? So a lot of this, in terms of it being a this era horror game, is incredibly familiar. Um, this tone is pretty distinct, though. I gotta say. The way that this game is, like, tasting. It's a new flavor, man. That's appreciated. The genre is so... Broken marionette. The genre is so derivative, often. But even if you can use the familiar formula, but, you know, make it smell a little different, I'm in. Its strings have been cut in various places, rendering the puppet... Unusable. Then what good are you, Mr. Unusable Puppet? Do we have any idea where that could go? Have we seen a thing? Or anything else for Huey to do? Why don't we take a lap through the castle with the doge? No, I... Uh, Chewie, keep doing what you're doing, dude. Don't... Don't worry about me, alright? Can I close... Like, if I close the door right now and then called Huey, would he do the thing where he, like... steps through the wall and just, like, is by my side? Or is that something I gotta keep in mind? Yo, here's a safe room. I gotta remember that these things are... What they are. We're a buck thirty in. I feel like we could maybe afford to uh, ramp up the speed a little bit. Oh, God. What the fuck? What? The I heard you, bro. You okay? I thought I heard him, like, barking out. Come on. Dude. You're such a good boy. 
It takes a very long time to praise the boy. He is, of course, worth it. You should probably not be barking, though, because we kind of got to move stealthily. Fuck that urn. Fuck that urn. More of that shit, huh? Okay, so... The lighting in here is a little different, I think. Dude, she's got them funky dunkers too! Blood. Whoops. What are you talking about? Of course it is. It's weird that these characters are just like fucking here, man. And like we don't know what they are, if they're adversarial or if they're helpful. Man, it's a weird vibe, but it's kind of nice. Also, that maid is hot as shit. All right, Doge, we're gonna leave that bitch to her work and keep exploring, I suppose. How about is R Ricardo gonna be shitting? Can I drink from the same sink twice? I think that's a little bit. A little goofy, the status restored thing. A little goofy. Okay, what the fuck are we thinking about this marionette? Dude, Huey. It feels so good to have the doge right right in step, man. Feels great. You see this shit, Huey? Do you see this shit? When the only object that you have unites with the only loose end that you have. Horror games can't help themselves from doing the puppet thing. The doll has been stabbed with small iron sticks. This place is so freakish. It reminds me of, oh, what's the book, Last Summer We Parted? Y'all read that shit? Fuminori Nakamura? That dude is a genius, by the way. I remember that being one of the, one of my favorite examples of using the puppet thing for a creepy effect. I think, I think the doll maker in that story used to make, like, what do you do? He made like dolls of the deceased for loved ones that were grieving. How freaky is that? If somebody just like missed somebody that had died in their life so much, that this one dude that was like his thing was that he made dolls in their likeness. I think to comfort them. I haven't read that book in a couple of years. When was I read through all of Nakamura's bibliography, yeah, years ago. He's a genius, you should check his stuff out. Last winter we parted is so good, but The Thief, he wrote a book called The Thief. Um, and it's, it's masterclass. Is someone trying to scare me? Yeah, dude. What the fuck with the eyeballs, dude? 
What's up, homie? You were barking up a storm. You okay? Yes, very spooky. Indeed, game. What the fuck? Wait, did I just die? Act A est fabula? Dude, I don't know Latin or whatever dumb language you're speaking. Oh, it did boot me back to the thinger. Okay, well, there's no way that we're leaving it there, but I do think I'm going to take just a little bit of a break. I'll be uh, right back. We back, baby. So what, we just fucking died. I do kind of hate those types of triggers in games. Like, how would I have known that was going to happen? Like, literally, you just kind of have to die. It's fucking stupid. Like, it feels like it's the only fault of, fault of my own is that I just hadn't done it yet. So I'm gonna say... Hopefully you don't get stabbed. He's looking for shit, dude. He's scoping. Man, I, is there a world actually where I could have put together that those eyes would shoot little daggers if I looked at the left wall? Is that a reasonable jump for me to make, do you think? Because, like, yeah, there's a bunch of fucking stabbed things on that wall. But, like, there, I feel like there's that, that's not distinct enough from, like, the things that are stabbed over here and shit. No, I'm gonna say... No. That is not on the player. Oh, shit, dude. Get over here. Doggo, get over here. Come here, boy. Come on. Even in the six minute break that I took, I forgot just how jiggly her breasts are. Sit. You gotta you gotta let me through though, game. Okay. Stay there, hombre. Stay there, hombre. Okay, stay there. Heck yeah, baby. Now we pull the thing or it's a breaker it box. Over the handle. Did that disengage the eyeball gun knivers? Should I do it? Okay. Yui. Wonder if my noise gates picks picks up whistling. Get the fuck over here, homie. Where are you? Guess who's getting scratches, dude? Get the fuck over here. Yui. Oh, she said she she said the name. Alright, moving on. This is peculiar that there's a light on a single chair, yes. There's an oddly placed chair here as well. This place continues to weird me out. This is your family home. Apparently. Miss Eris. Ugly texture.
What would the scariest person on the other side of the line be? Imagine it, and now let's compare. You didn't have to tell me that. Your Azoth. My Azoth? What kind of dumb fantasy words are you coming up with, game? Hello? Hello? She has such a sympathetic face. I'm gonna have to do some weird psychological analysis of why her face is specifically so sympathetic. Maybe it's just because I care about Jill Valentine so much and she keeps reminding me of Jill Valentine from 5. What's up the industrial beat, dude? Oh, dude, is it the dumb one? Magnesia, dude. Where's he gonna come from? Whoa! Oh, you can't close the door from the back. Come on, Huey. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ohms. We'll crash those later. My darling. My darling. Is that what he says? The fucking freakazoid, dude. Nice. Yui, do what you do best, my friend. Do I know where this is? Your little... What, dude? Shut the fuck up. I'm not your anything. Oh god, dude, I shouldn't be flippantly running into a room like this! Oh, I gotta do it now. Oh god. Oh my god, dude, where the fuck am I, man? I feel like I just ran through all kinds of whack shit. Oh my god, stop the pursuit via cutscene, I'm into that. Wait. Kick him down, dude. Kick him down the thing. That's what I'm talking about. Shatter your dumb, fat head. Do it again! Wait, what the fuck actually just happened there? Open the door, would you? Yo, this is crazy. She's so fast, but she's panicked. Oh no, just the game moves faster. Oh, this doesn't feel good, dude. I need Huey to attack. What was that weird ass cutscene, dude? I hated that. Close the door, no! Oh, it didn't work. Oh my fucking god. Where's my dog, dude? It's getting pretty panicky. It's getting pretty panicky, dude. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Does he know how to climb? Fuck, he does, dude. This is not where I wanna be. This is not where I wanna be. Oh shit. Give me a fucking second. What was that weird cutscene bullshit, dude? I hated that. He was so far away. Which one chills me out? First, we'll do this. And then, we'll do this. Nice little fanfare! Wait, I'm not better at all! I fucked. 
I hate everything about everything. Wait, he just fucking yeeted me. I'm, I'll tank it, dude. Heck yeah. I mean, so truly this game makes no sense. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know where I am, dude. Sorry, I just lost myself there for a fucking second. Uh, where the fuck is my dog? First thing. Close the door, dude. Oh my god. Dude, I got magnesia, bitch. You don't have magnesia, but I do. I guess it's no use hiding under a bed when he can see me doing it. Close the door, dude. Get fuck, loser. And then... Wait. Oh, I s oh do so I just, like, have them equipped? Yo, did you just say goodnight? What a grow so. No, this is not where I want to be. Dude, I heard you, Huey. Shut up, dude. Huey, did I lock you out? Oh, God. Kill him. Kill him. Kill the thing. How useless is my dumb dog? Thanks, Huey. Keep it going, baby. Oh god, I'm being dumb again and tripping. Honestly, the tripping mechanic feels like a like the right level of progression of me freaking out. Is this a dead fucking end? Is this a dead fucking end? Okay, let's just take a moment to calm down for a sec. He doesn't know where I am. He does not know where I am. What's up with this crazy camera angle? It's like showing him march down the thing? But is he chasing my dog now? Wait, do I gotta be concerned about Huey and his livelihood? Or is he just gonna be okay? Huey, you better not have led him back to me. Okay. Oh, Huey, you okay, Holmes? It sounds like you're right behind me. This is back to normal ambience, right? Go, Huey. No, no, no. Come on. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Very, very. Don't bark, though. I love you, but shut the fuck up. Medallion. Why is there a doll in a cage? Maybe someone is just trying to keep one of the valuable under lock and key. Again, maybe not. So fucking cool, dude. It's a box, but I can't open it. That's an important looking box, though. There's a slot here. Don't tell me this is going to be like the last one. We gotta find the name of a doll or something. There's a doll slumped in the chair. Perhaps this is the nursery? Nice. I hide here. Huey doesn't give it away at all. 
It's good to uh, be familiar with the different hidey whities. Can I hide under the crib too? It's a crib for a small child. The sheets have become discolored from lack of use. I guess the maid hasn't tended to this room in a long time. Alright. Shut up! What was this whole cutscene about, huh? I hated that. I don't... Where are you stuck, my dear? Agnes Day. Looks like that's the title of this diorama. Agnes Day. You should put this. You should put this on, girl. This breastplate. I'm telling you, you're not doing anyone any favors wearing what you're wearing. Another cutscene? Oh no. Just fantastic. Oh no! You tell me if I had just done that when I was on the roof? Wait, are we in a, a chase sequence again? Wait, there's a lumen. Oh my fucking god! No! One of these doors has to- I don't have time to get- wait, what do you- you don't have time to open a fucking door? I've seen you open quite a few doors. Amidst chases. Somebody close the thing. Somebody close the thing. Ricardo, you out there, Holmes? How about Azoth or whatever the fuck? Where am I? Oh god, I don't feel good about running through new areas, dude. Oh god, that's gonna shoot shit out of it and kill me. And of course Huey's not with me right now. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, are you kidding me, dog? Are you tired yet, babe? Maybe I shouldn't climb random ladders that I don't know where they lead. Do I get a little stamina back? I don't see him yet, dude. If we open and close this fucking door, we might be okay. Get in there, baby, and close the fucking door. What are these, speakers? Oh, this is up here, dude. Nice, where does this lead? I'll get the shiny thing fucking later. My darling. Close the door. Oh, shit, dude. Nice. Close the door, close the door, close the door. Is he gonna know if I hide here again? Because I hid here before? It said something, the game said something, dude, that it would do that. So it turns out that this is a dumb chase horror game. It's like the main source of tension is running away. My little penny pie. My little penny pie? What the fuck does he say? God, the music just got fucking loud. What am I supposed to do? Do I just sit here? Is this just white day all over again? I don't fucking believe you. Okay. You said it, game. You fucking said it. Right back to it, huh? She walked in this time. 
Well, now this is my third time hiding here. Is he gonna know? Is he gonna know? Oh, there was nothing back here. Dude, why didn't the thing blow up? Wasn't the thing supposed to blow up? I didn't like watching him load through that door like he did. Where is my dog? A bitch. You struggled so much with that ramp the first time. Alright, I guess I'm not fucking hiding under the bed anymore. No, he's still, I hear him thomp and whomping. Don't make this, don't give me the false hope that he's going away with the quieting piece of music and the slowering of the tempo. Close the door. Close the door. I gotta go find my fucking dog. He did not come with. He's, he's probably fucking trapped somewhere. What's snapping? Shut up! Wait, actually, what is that? It sounds like it's coming from down here, doesn't it? It sounds like it's coming from my... Something scribbled on the board. Oh, is this lore stuff? Luminescence. Luminescence are tiny creatures that respond to the ethereal energies given off by Azoth. Ugh. They can be used to help track down nearby Azoth. However, several precautions must be taken while handling them. 1. When Luminescence come into direct contact with an Azoth-infused item or being, they send forth a small charge which shocks the carrier. The higher the concentration of Azoth in said carrier, the greater and more powerful the shock. 2. Luminescence lifespan is dramatically decreased whenever they come into co direct contact with the open air. This time differs from specimen to specimen, but is never much longer than a few minutes. Luminescence, judging by the ring of that. I'll bet these are- wait! Judging by the ring of that? Or the double titled- whatever. I'll bet these are those lightning bug things that were chasing me earlier. What was the point there? That they're attracted to me because I'm a Zoth? Or I've got a fuck ton of a Zoth in me? Dude. Emeth, you okay, Holmes? You okay? I don't care. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. I was doing those dumb little bully firecrackers that you throw at someone's feet and then they flip out and then you laugh at them. Oh, who cares, dude? That should have been something dope. Are you the piano making those ba-doom ba-dooms? 
Tinkering out a few chords may soothe my nerves a bit, but now is hardly the time or place to be practicing my piano skills. You can always be honing those skills, girl. Come on. Huh? What is this? Looks like it pivots at the base. Rotate by pressing right or left. Feels like it wants to go there, right? And we'll leave it there for now. I heard Huey. We're go I'm coming, baby. Man, I really fucking ran a far... I ran far from my boy! Come on, is this Bloodborne? Can I slide down the thing? Go... So is there actually just an ever-present threat of Fado just fucking coming at me, wanting to like smell me? Viola medallion, or voila. Oh, I got the boil back. Metal used during the alchemic refining process. Used to create dog-based items? Is that an alchemic category? You'll never find me. <laughs> Onion. On. Ion. The fire's crisply burning. Can I burn some shit, dude? Oh, I don't want to go in this creepy shack-looking thing. This is probably where fucking Dumb Nuts lives. That's what he snacks on. That bucket's where he shits. Dude, what is this? This is cool. Great vibes. It's sort of like a... Let's just forget it. Out of sight, out of mind, or so they say. Uh, no. This is certainly something we should not out of sight, out of mind, I do believe. Should very much be in sight. Just, just as a check, we should see if we can hide under the bed. Just as a check. Wait, what did she say? There's no way I could even consider lying down here. I'm glad the game knew that I would think to do it. Keep it open. Or do we think that's maybe the maid's quarters? Do we treat the staff like shit? Go sleep on the shack on the balcony. Oh, there's so much stuff. Doggo! Go, Huey. Oh. Come on. Does this only open and doesn't close? Looks like this is used to open the gate. Of course. Nice. God, her character model is so fucking good. There's a breeze coming from the other side. I wonder where it leads. Hmm. That's something we can refer to the map for. It looks just like an open corridor. Wait, so the gate that I just opened, does that lead to the room that was colored red in the basement? Kinda looks like it, right? Oh, wait, no. That was to the right. Wait. Investigate. We gotta find our dog first and foremost, and then we'll investigate. God, that's another door I need to check, I believe. Oh, good nighttime ambience, bro. Ambience. Oh, shit, dude, this is where I fell down. There's no way I'm getting back to my dog, and that's also a dumb thing. A door? 
What? It's just a wall made to look like a door. Is this all made to like... Well, that's a door. Close the thing. Oh my god. Is that the sound of a luminescent? Yet again. Oh. Oh, Huey. Come on. I shouldn't even fuck with the malls, right? I can't hide hide under the this thing. Wait. That's a clock? Yes, indeed. Yuck, look at all those moths. I'm not going there. Looks like they're attracted to those flowers. Alright, understood. I gotta get to Huey. And Huey's gonna go through that gate, get me some flowers, and I can distract the moths and go through the door. Simple. Yeah, we juke that luminescent like no one's fucking business. I wish I knew where I was. I see something sparkly in the fence there. Uh. Oh my god, dude, this castle's confusing. What the fuck sound? Nothing up here? You look important. A generator of some sort. The clamp is fixed to a wire winding device. It's trusted solid, but if I hit it with enough force, I may be able to loosen it. Bet! The triple kick. Nice, dude. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. But can he get a- oh my fucking god, dude, no. Where's my dog? Where's my fucking dog? He's not that scary of an adversary. He's just kind of gross and stupid. And like, bigger than me. I guess his intentions are gross, but like, I'm not like scared of him. Maybe he's like too dumb to be afraid of or something. I'm just gonna put as much distance between the two of us as I can. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. I was hoping that's where that was gonna go. You close the door. Thank you, my dear. What is this one? Very good. Very good. Yes, Huey, I am so sorry, dude.
Okay, so... Where's my fucking dog? Come on. I genuinely don't know at this point where the fuck we parted ways. I guess when I collapsed the part of the roof was the last time I could access the dog. We were going through this stuff. We're still looking for a- wait, can I interact with this fucking- Whoa, dude! Enough with that shadow, right? Fucked up! Oh my god, come here, come boy. On. Come here, boy. No, what are you- where are you going, dude? Dude, I am so sorry for being gone. Please eat some beef jerky. What do you mean? What do you mean, dude? Dude, I'm trying to feed you a snack. Buddy. Hey, you can take a little breaky poo, it's all good. Um, have we gone down yet? This is where the roof collapsed. There's so much shit on top of shit. I don't know how to do that. This looks like progression, progression. So if we just poke our head up here, see if we get a cutscene or some sense of direction or something, and then we should go. We sh we. There's so much that I haven't seen that it's making me fucking anxious. Oh, dude, and I'm leaving the dog because of course he can't climb ladders. It's like fucking fireman that bitch on my back. God, what is this gonna be? I'm seeing weird, like, museum symbols down yonder. Why are all these castles so fucking weird? Why did this- you zoomed in on the door? Whoa, it's a push puzzle? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it's not a puzzle. Do I just have to stand here? Wait, did I fuck up the puzzle by putting those next to each other? These two? I can't undo these. Right? I can't pull in this game, right? Oh no, I fucked the dog, dude. The dog has been fucked. But I, I, there's no way for me to even get to this one. I can, okay. Well, we get, we have to reset the room. I fucked it up. I hope resetting the room is possible. Huey, it's all good, Holmes. No, shut up. Wait, say that again? What could it mean? I wonder that too. There's no like load state, dude. That like, how is this gonna load again? There's gotta be a pull. 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 Pull thing. Mm. There's no way it reset, right? It did. Interesting. And appreciated. Very video gamey, but what are you gonna do? I mean, we're assuming we just put these blocks back, right? 
Do we think it's that easy? Don't push it again, girl. Oh, no shit. Well, did I fuck the dog again? Not Huey, of course. I would never. Dude, I might have, because I probably can't fit between these two now. Oh, God. Get in there, though. Dude, you're stick skinny. You weigh like 90 pounds. Get in there. Try it again. Go down these stairs this time. Shut up, Yui. You make me feel bad, dude. Okay, so first things first. Get this fucking shit out of the way. Wait, before I do anything more, don't box me out of this one for some dumb reason. It won't. Why is she so confident that this is gonna work? You know, I know that I'm playing a video game, but like, what is Fiona hoping to get out of this? Do you think, like, just canonically she's just cleaning? Like, this just looks like a mess to her? And she's like, well, why aren't these things like, well, before I move on? No, she wouldn't even fucking practice the piano for a second. There's no way she would spend all this time cleaning. Why are you doing this, girl? I like her little ponytail when she runs. I think it's really satisfying. Thank God Big, Dumb, and Horny has not intervened during this process. Wait, no, dude. Hold on. No. Oh, fuck, dude. I can't do it. Cause there's no way for me to push down on this thing. I have to leave a space, right? Oh my god, this is so stupid, man. It's stupid because it takes a long fucking time. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, we'll do it again, dude. There's no pull, right? There's no pull. There is no pull mechanic. There's no pull, right? No, oh, fuck, dude. Okay, so what we need to do is we gotta get the red piece out of the way. Oh god, dude, just make them tank controls, please. Um... We need to get this... ...beyond where it is, but still pushable in the future. So, presuming that I can walk behind the stairs, which I should be able to, because I can do it on the other side, we leave that there. Now we come around with the silver piece. This would be a fine puzzle if it was if it if the actual mechanics of it were different. The mental part of this is just fine. It's the actual doing that is kind of frustrating to do. For sure. Shut up, Huey. That makes it even more frustrating. I know my dog is alone and scared in the world. Oh god, I almost accidentally pushed it. Okay. So 
finish this shit off. Woof. Okay. Push it, though. Hey! Almost there, baby. Oh god, those puzzles make me fucking tired, dude. It's so boring. It's making me tired. Push it though, girl. So what, one more loop to loop on the stairs? No, since these are all gone, I should be able to just do it, right? Yeah. Push it. Everything in its right place. She's thinking about it. That wasn't all for naught. Or a bros. Have you seen the leaving? Wait, that's not a bros. How does a bros go? I'm fucking slams. Oh, I forget how it goes. What did I sing? First song on the record. I forget how a bros goes. I was kind of hoping this was going to open the, the top door. Where are we right now? This leads to the special red room. What's this? Oh, okay. Device is full. Looks like it pivots at the base. Well, we can't even begin to do this puzzle because the one doesn't have the jewel that it needs. Yo, boy, oh. Medallion. Can this be spended? What did you say? It's a picture of the moon. What did this mean? Nice, where's this gonna go? Doggy. Come on. Can you find me? I don't know where he is in relation to me, to be honest. I remember where I climbed. This is where I fell. Isn't this where the luminescent is too? Oh god damn it, dude. This is This is not right. This is not right. But I forget what's up here. Is this how I got to the thing to drop down the drawbridge that I had to kick a couple of times? Is that this? I'm gonna double check. Yes. So I mean, ultimately kind of fucked up that after that whole puzzle, it kind of led to a thing that I can't do. 
Yet, I need a gemstone, I think. To put in the pivoting machine. Can I grab this through the thing? How do I get back there, dude? Uh. Okay, we need the doge to get the flower to clear the moths. Let's talk about what we need. Potentially a gemstone to rotate Mr. Pivot. We need the dog to go through the fence to get the flowers to clear the moths. We need something on the nameplate that we need to get a box in the doll room. Here's the flower that we need. Huey, where are you, dude? Have I been over here? I have been up there. This is the witch's place. And then we have the witch's place that we don't know what the fuck to do with. So, we have no important special items. That's rough. Where does this lead? I've been up here, I think, when I was being pursued by... fucking dumb, horny, sniff, meister. This is piano room. Where did I leave dog, dude? Oh yeah, and then we still have the maid who's just cooking. And that's just it, she's just cooking. I don't remember what this is. Love this. Oh, it's Prego. So this is beneath the piano room. Wait, now that we know, okay. It did say something about enough force, did it not? At one point? It has a rather sturdy look to it. Okay. It looks so toppable, though. If I just apply enough force, I might be able to knock it over. Oh, Huey, dude. Well, I don't get what that fucking means, dude. No, 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 no. Dude, so it is random? Is that what you're saying to me? My little Stop. Just never make a sound again. Close the fucking door! Oh my god. But I want him to get shot by those eyeballs. Oh no, why is this door closed? Go through, close the door, close the door, baby. I think I hear the pitter patter of footsteps. Doji. Doji. Oh my goodness gracious. Good boy. Good fucking boy, dude. Is he gonna keep pursuing? Because I got Huey back and he wants none of this. Whoa, wait, this is a shortcut too? What is going on, dude? Oh, there's two luminescents, man. Huey, watch out, dude. These things fucking suck. Oh, wait, this is the... That leads out. Huey, it's okay, dude. It's okay. Trust me, they're weak little... Oh. No, 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 no. Attack. I don't know where he is, but like... Oh, there he is. Huey, you're the fucking best, dude.
Wait, is he fucking done pursuing us? Because that's amazing. Is that what you were growling at, homie? Good work, Huey. Come on, we're going to the bathroom, bud. Follow close, follow close. gonna wait for a fucking second or two, dudes. You, you're now, now, you're a little too slow. Now you're gonna give away my shit. Who cares? Oh, dude, he was just chilling. Best dog. Best dog. Don't even remind me that she has to pee. Don't even remind me. Should we go see if, uh... Hot stuff is still cooking? No. Wait a second, this looks like human hair? Wait, are you cooking up people? Huey. Nah, uh, you probably eat a person. But, like, I wouldn't eat a person. Nah, I'd probably eat a person. But how dangerous it, is it to go back the way that we... It's all fucking cockthroat. Okay, so he's out that way. We have no business out there. None. Mm. Four red X's on the first floor. Not positive, but that means... You wait. Do make haste. My little Puccino. God, I feel like I'm just taking laps now. How do I get the Puccino down to the flower? Come on. What's he doing? Did I close a door on his dumb face? Did I do that? Did I close a door on his dumb face? Hubert. My little Hubert. There you are, good boy. Do follow. Stay in tow. Do not fall behind. Hubert. Come on. You stay close to me, please. Thank you. Have I been down here yet? This door's open, I presume, yes. I'm very locked. Hubert. of a clock. I've saved here before. Or I've seen this before. Might have been in chase mode. Wait. Yes. God, that was almost 30 minutes. I gotta save more often. There's pretty flowers in the four screen. Like, yes, I want to be here, but down. Okay. 
up there was where the down thing was and the eventual red room will be once we get the thing for the pivot thing. I'm sorry, Huey. I'm not in the right place, bro. I'm out of my fucking mind. And I'm too stubborn to check the map. Thinking about all of the potential connection points. Oh God. Go, Huey. No, no. Come on. Give the dog mixed signals, dude. This leads only to the thing that I can't do thing to, correct? Or is there another way? Like beyond, like this way, where we saw. This leads to the intro area. Mm. What does this mean for me? It means I go up. What if I go up to my bedroom? And we're going even farther away from down. But down in the yard doesn't lead to anything. go in here. Oh, is it down? What's down here? There's an open door here. Doesn't this just lead to the kitchen, though? Isn't that what this is? Yeah. Oh, my God. Garden. No, this, we do want to go this way. I already forgot why. My brain naturally put it together and said, John boy, you gotta get in there and smack my ass. Yes, yes. Because if we go out this way, this way, we can go through the gate garden thing. Correct? Where is it? Do I have to climb a fucking ladder to get there? I might be in the biggest dum-dum of all time. I mean, it goes with the territory of being me. I get it. Wait, is this not right? Oh, there's another door. Okay, hold on. Which one was the one that I just came through? This one. Where's my dog? Where's my fucking dog? There you are, you boy, get the fuck over here. We go in this door. We go past this shit. We go in here. We're learning the layout squad. We're learning it. Come on. Get over here, and then you gotta grab the thing for me, bro. Was I too quick? Nice, dude. Now get the fuck in there, bro. How about the hole that I'm staying in front of? Huey, my hole. Huey, my hole. Go. I don't like that you're growling right now. I don't like that you're growling right now. I know. I know there are beautiful flowers. Go. Yes, yes, yes. Did I have to acknowledge that there were flowers in there first? Me as Fiona? Grab them. Do grab them, boy. And then return Come to on. me. I don't know if you did... I don't know if you did it. Good You're a good boy. boy. But now I need you... Go. Dude, I don't... Like, you fucking... Barking at dogs, dude. Maps and atlases? Trees to all those houses? Y'all remember that record? There's no way. Go! Grab them, bro. Nice, he grabbed them. That's what that was. Him grabbing them. I also can't move. Dude, you're the best, dude. Now do your business. 
And then get back here. Come on. And then get scratched, bro. Get your scratches on. Good boy. Good boy. Can I pet you even Good more? Boy. What happened? Why are you only calling to him now? He's right here. Bend over. Good boy. Bend over. Take his fucking head in your Good hands. Boy. Oh my. Okay, so we got some flowers, and we're gonna do something to a couple of moths with them. Chewy. We were gonna do a thing to a couple of moths. But now, I don't feel like it. Close the door. Close the door. Wait, Huey? Can probably take these stairs. What would. Oh, there's a ladder to get up here. Out here is a ladder, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Has the threat been vanquished? Can we get back to work? The door is locked. We still need. I know, I know. We'll figure it out later. Um, okay. So now that... All Dark and Handsome... Has been mitigated. Hopefully. We can get back to this moth business. That's so freaky, dude. Yes! Oh, but now... Dewey's kind of stuck in here. And that's no good. No! Oh my fucking god. The music did settle. But now I just like can't go that way. Wait, do you think I'm still being pursued? Like, should I just wait? Or is he gonna bring his bony ass through that door? Eventually. I don't, I don't, I don't canonically like the idea of me leaving my dog in there with him. Dun dun, dun dun. Oh. Huey, how you doing, homie? I swear to God, if this kicks into action mode the moment I start descending these stairs, I swear to God. Huey, what happened, dude? He's not here anymore. And the door is open. Huey? 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 Oh, I hear your little pitter patter. Come on. He's around somewhere. There he is, dude. Is that a call of pain? Do you need my help? Or... I'm gonna leave this door open. In case Huey wants to... Oops. These flowers look as if they have literally just been picked out of the ground. They're giving off a sweet nectar-like smell. So... So... What, we just need to move them? You think I can put them in this vase? This vase? Nope, can you pick that up for me? I don't know what the fuck you're doing, girl, but... That's amazing. Yeah! 
We moving on, dude. We moving on. This one? This one. This is pretty fun, dude. This is a pretty fun game. Now where in the world are we? What is that X? What does that X mean? The X is where the moths are now? No, the X X's are save points. I think X's are save points. Okay, so it looks like this room doesn't lead anywhere. But we should probably get something consequential out of it. Wait, is this a ladder? It is a ladder, dude. Can you look through here? For me? Sweetness. Okay, okay. Huh? There's something in the drain. Don't care. I don't care about your shit in the drain. Whoa, spooky. Thing on the ground. Wait, why can't- is it all spidered? Oh shit, dude. How you gonna fucking blue ball me like that, homie? Wait, okay, there is a thing. It's gonna be a consumable, I don't care. Dude, dude, wait. That's a hole that I think maybe homie could fucking, wait, can I call him? Come on. There's no way, right? There's no way? You think he, we're, he's directly above? We, we gotta find a place for him to like crawl outside, maybe? Is that what this chamber is showing us? Yeah, okay. It even shows it on the map. Oh, there he is. Homie, what's good? Okay, so what we're gonna do is... I'm a little disoriented. Uh, uh. Fuck, I don't want to dodge you right now, dude. I'm not, I'm not in the mood. So it should be like right fucking here, right? A little crawl hole? Yeah, dude, this has to be it. Come on. Where did the luminescent go? Oh me. There it is. Two of them. This is just like, this is just dumb and not fun to dodge these things. I know, dude, I know, but could you like get in there? I kinda don't care. Thanks, bro. No, wait, now? Is it because I got smacked in the dome? He's so close. He's so close. Fuck, dude. There's nowhere to hide in here. Right? There's no one. Oh, God. Oh, he is right fucking here. Good fucking whiff, dog. Sucks to suck. So you, you just do not want to get hit by a luminescent. It's like an auto trigger of nerd, Nerdsmith. My dog is off there doing incredible things that I told him to do, but now I gotta dodge. Mm, oh, I, sh I should have committed to the thing. There's no way he knows where I am. There's no way. Can we keep doing what you're doing, bro? Like, please just wait for me. Wait for me. Music is getting dimmer. Are we safe? Are we safe? Oh my God. 
God, that actually did scare me, dude. Dude, don't make terrified dog noises. Ugh. How do I get that object? I am actually going to run all the way the fuck around again, dude. I like that all these doors are open, though. That feels good. I feel like I haven't made any story progress in, like, two hours. What have I been doing, dude? Nothing is what it feels like. I forget where this leads. Is this the puppet room? No, this is where we learn about Azoth. And is this the puppet room? Dude, Huey, what the fuck? We're here, so we'll save. We're here, so we'll save. But we gotta get back to business, dude. What did you find? How did it go? There is one other luminescent in the garden, which is annoying. God, this constant changing of angles is not doing good things for my brain. Especially when they re fucking set the left control stick. This leads to the fucking witch's thing. Okay. Okay, so you got these fucking flowers, and that's good news. Now, we're gonna go through here and watch them titties bounce. We made it. We made it back. Should I just wait for the doge, or should I go get him? Come on. Good boy. I ran too fast for the pup. What can I say? I'm a fucking stallion. Mustang. Go, Huey. No, no, no. I meant come. come. I see you. I see you. You beacon of light, you. Come. Come. Lay in there, dude. I need you. Come on, bro. Hey, come on. You. There we go, bro. It feels like it feels like a dog. It feels like I'm interacting with a real bona fide dog. You know. Get in there. Go, Huey. Amazing. Amazing. No, 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 no. I need you to just go and stay. going. Keep going. Keep going. Go. 
homie. Go, Huey. You got the thing. You got the thing. You got a study key. It also kind of looks like there's a switch right there. Could you st could you step on the switch, homeboy? Go, Huey. Does that not look like a little switch right there? Does, doesn't it look like a little switch? Go, Huey. He doesn't know what to do. Okay. We got the key. Maybe that's not a switch. This kind of fucking looks like a switch. Study key. Study key. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Huey. Come on. He's still in there? Oh, he is, dude. This game is so cool. Good boy. Thank you for petting him again. Okay, how do we get to the study? And I want my dog with me while I do it. No, that's just gonna lead to a ladder. Hmm, this way is gonna lead to a ladder too, is it not? That way leads nowhere. I guess we gotta go this way. Brown at something. Oh, you just fucking jumped like a fucking mother, dude. That was crazy. Where does this lead? Forget already. Oh, the music room. The music room. Currently uninteresting to us. Now, this is going to lead to. Like, I have to climb this ladder, but I don't want to leave Huey. So we're going to take the long way, dude. We'll go here. 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 Are you with me? Where's that fucking sound again, dude? Kind of a freaky sound. Oh no, this isn't it. Oh, I should keep in mind that that's there. Are you kidding? My darling. Are you kidding, dude? Oh, wait, you were behind me? But Huey's supposed to be behind me, dude. I hate this man. That's the room I want to be in. I need to catch my breath. Get him, dude! Get him, get him, get him, get him! God, Huey. He's just gonna show up right fucking there. What do you mean? What are you slowing the music down for? Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Gonna hide under the bed because he'll look there. Do we? I. What the fuck? Y'all see that shit? I'm so tired. I 
feel so safe with Hubert by my side. Yeah, Huey, stay there, dude. Oh my god, we were right there, too, dude. The game just couldn't, it just couldn't help itself. It just couldn't fucking help itself. opposite of what I tell you. Let's try that route again. Afraid he's here. Why don't we just walk for a little bit? Catch your breath, girl. You gonna hear that weird? Sounds like if someone's like flagellating. We will get to the bottom of that sound. We will. Huey. Got a boy. We're safe now, buddy. We're safe now. Let's see what we got. Refractor, we know exactly where that goes. Oh no. And there's a luminescent there. Uh, music room. We're gonna have to split up. Dude, what's up with all the luminescence, dude? Oh, we gotta split up. Oh, I shouldn't have went this way. I should not have went this way. Huey, get him. Look at this high octane chasing action. Huey, I hear you, Holmes. I hear you, Holmes. Where are you, baby? I'm gonna try to hide in the bathroom. No, oh my, yo, tank controls, where are you? I've never, I never hit here before. Be fine. Coast is clear. We're good. Oh shit. Dude, a luminescent, dude. They're everywhere now. How do I get to the thing? Oh my gosh, dude. What the fuck? This game really pisses me off. When we're doing this kind of shit. Oh, 
Man, they went to fucking moron camera. That's awesome how he just goes right through the wall like that, dude. Oh, because we hid there before, dude. Oh, no, dude. Okay, they just did that to freak us out a little bit. That was clear. You say that, but, like... If I step out here, he's right fucking there. Wash your face. Desu Asayo? Is that what it is? Hey, dude. Like, what's the point of saying coast is clear? What's the point of it? <laughs> but he's gonna know now, dude. Thank God. Coast not clear. Coast very much not clear. Come on. I hate hiding in video games. I hate it. Dude, this game sucks. This game fucking sucks. You're fine, girl. Get him, get him, Huey, get him. Make sure he can do nothing. I don't even like the when the music goes away. Cause it just honestly it just gives me false hope. Okay, which way to the thing, dude? Doesn't matter, I'm taking the long way. First, I'm gonna save. All right, we three hours in. You're fine. Huey, you're fine. Okay, you're going the long way. leads back to the puppet room, and then I go there. How do I get there, though? I can just loop the loop out here, right? But dude, like, fucking moron is out here. He's gonna be right fucking here. He's gonna kick right into gear. Go through the thing. Go through the thing. Alright, down is Witch's Hut. Over here is going to be... You hear that? Maybe I'm hearing things, but I'd swear there are voices coming from the hole. That was such a good little audio cue. Like, I heard that and wondered what that was. Our name. Don't put your fucking hand in. I meant just like look in. Five fingernails, bangle.
Give us a little square. Oh wait, they wanted to give us something? Damn that Ricardo. He has sealed off the main gate, but not to worry. There is another less known way out of the castle. An old mansion lies beyond the belly castle. Freedom to the outside lies through that mansion. I'm writing down directions for getting to the mansion below. On the first floor of the tower that lies on the other side of the suspension bridge, there are two round contraptions. These are known as the lunar panels. Use the lunar panels to shine light on the wall in the back room. Doing so will open the way to the chapel. There you should take the goddess key. Beam the light out of the second floor of the music tower. Then adjust the three lunar panels to proceed forward. Fiona, please understand that my only desire is to free you from this wretched to tomb of a castle. Lorenzo. Thanks, Lorenzo, but I was literally going to do all of that anyway. Um... Goddess key is, I think, the only thing that maybe we don't have access to. Correct? Because we can put the thing here. Cool that her reflection's there. Good shit, 2005 PS2. Um, interact. Set the back wall. Cutscene. We got them all in place, baby. Magic shit. What a dumb effect. That was really dumb. The idea is fine. The idea of that was fine. Its execution was weak. <laughs> Everything in this game looks so good. What was that? That looks so janky. You know what? Why don't we save it there for the day? That feels like a good place to stop. Castle spiral stairs. We're gonna do the double save. Also, where the fuck's my dog? Get him next time. Heck yeah, dude. There's no way for me to quit out. Actually, no way for me to go back to the main menu. I always feel a little fucking anxious about leaving my games not on the main menu. Weird, but okay. Nothing from here. Okay. Cool. Um, so... I'm gonna leave it there. Hey, that was fun, yo. That was pretty fun. This game is... There he is. Ooh, the puddle was nice. Anyway. Uh... It's a pretty cool game. Difficult to describe why. There's just so many fixtures of... You know, let me pause this literally so that... Big chonker doesn't come blowing through. Um... Yeah, it's very difficult to explain why this game feels nice. Because it really, 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 really is not breaking any new ground. It's just, it's just playing with all of the fixtures of survival horror of this time. All of them. Um, I like that it's less action heavy. Like if you think about, you know, Resident Evil of this era. Um, you know, you're running and gunning and shit. And, like, you constantly feel like your actual life is at stake. The threat here is different. It feels different, dude. 
and it's difficult to articulate what that is. Like, I mean, honestly, we don't really know what it is that's going on yet in terms of Fiona, Fiona and her parentage and her apparent inheritance of this weird belly castle. We'll see. So, like, it's it's difficult to even speak to her as a character, but like I said, there is something resonant between her and the character, or her and me as a player. Um, her as a character and me as a player. There is something resonant between the two of them where, like, I do care to look after her. I'm just not positive why I care to look after her. And I think it is just exploitation of natural evolutionary systems, as opposed to it being, like, a bold, nice, well-thought-out narrative reason, you know, or a nice characterization of Fiona. Um, she's just kind of like this, like, pitiable, weak character that, like, you kind of care about. Like, you just don't want to see her get got, because she's, like, she's shown no signs of being anything but sweet. No, no signs of being anything other than sweet. You know, she's just, like, she truly feels like a victim here, and she truly feels like she's saddened by the circumstance. Um, and then, you know, Animals and stories is, you know, that's that's kind of like writing 101. If you want us to like your protagonist, you have them in the first chapter walk out of, uh, out of a bar and just, like, scratch the head of a stray dog. Like, it could be, it's completely irrelevant. It's literally just one sentence long, but your character just scratches the back of a dog's head, and we like that character infinitely more. Um, animals are a pretty cheap way of... of I guess garnering our, as an audience member's, empathy for your characters. Um, but it's effective for a reason, you know? Like, I do care about being around Huey. And, like, I want him to be safe. And, like, I, I get happy when he's helping us out. Um, I think the layout of this castle is fucking cool. I started, I think I finally started, like, truly having some degree of mastery of it by the end. Um, but the actual shortcuts, you know, by the end of your first three hours playing this, actually ha gives you, you know, pretty grand autonomy over the entirety of the space. And that's pretty awesome. Um, very little, I don't even think once I checked the map to be like, oh, that room is over there. The only time I checked the map would be like, where am I in relation to everything else? Um, so this game, despite simply being a Mad Lib of all horror games that came before it, um, has somehow amalgamated into something approaching successful. And for that, I applaud it, and I am excited to see where it goes. Um, kind of hard to call it a horror game. You know? It's not scary at all. I don't even know what themes are on the table, man. Like, what is going on? It's like more fantasy than it is horror, at least so far. We don't know what's going on at all. Um, which is a good thing, at least for now. I don't know how long this game is, but you know, if it's gonna take us, I don't know, what normal survival horror games t took during this era, you know, like 10, 10 hours, something like that. We have like another two, se two, three hour sessions of this game or something like that, then we still got plenty of time for answers, baby. Probably time for some more questions before the answers even start flowing. But that's incredibly exciting. Um, yeah, let's maybe not dive into the nitty gritty of the mechanics and such too, too hard here. Because, like I just said, there's, there's just too much to still explore and to see the ways in which these mechanics actually operate within the grand scheme of things. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's haunting ground, yo. I mean, honestly, that was a great way to, great way to spend a night. I thought that was fun as fuck. Uh, it looks gorgeous. This game is gorgeous to look at. Fantastic environments. Um, I would say great character models, but literally the only character models are Fiona and that fucking horrible, horrible creature. And I hate his character model. I hate it. It's like you're supposed to hate it, but I hate it in the way that I don't think it was intended for me to hate it. Um, or maybe I was. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to do too deep of an analysis of the themes or potentially what we're getting at here because I don't want to be wrong in the end necessarily. Um, slash, I don't want to speak too broadly or maybe too dramatically or emotionally um, about what they might be playing with here until 
perhaps a little bit more is revealed. But her, she looks incredible. Um, I think her character model is so, so good. Um, she moves great outside of it not being tanky. Um, I still appreciate the fixed cameras and the environments are great. Um, yeah, just great, great vibes. Excited to explore more. Uh, so thanks for watching if you uh, caught this and hung in there with me. Um, so incredibly fun to go back and play survival horror games of this era where, you know, when they came out, I was probably too young to appreciate them. Uh, but now being bit by the horror bug that I have been for the past decade or whatever, um, it's awesome to go back and mop up what I missed. So if you're on that journey with me, heck yeah. Seriously appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I'll be back with more sooner rather than later. Thanks for watching.